Uh, we had a uh, discussion with uh, some of the top uh, issuers here. Uh, and what I communicated to them is that uh, I think credit cards are an important convenience for a lot of people. Uh, they are a source of unsecured debt for uh, a lot of individuals and small businesses who are creating jobs. A lot of startups uh, may use credit cards for that purpose. We think that's important, and so we want to preserve uh, the credit card market. But we also want to do, uh, do so in a way that uh, eliminates some of the abuses and some of the problems that a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, you know, people uh, finding themselves uh, starting off with a low rate and next thing they know uh, their interest rates have doubled. Uh, fees that uh, they didn't know about but are suddenly tagged onto their bills. Uh, a, a whole uh, lack of clarity and transparency in terms of the terms of con and conditions of uh, their, their credit cards. And so uh, there's going to be action in Congress. Uh, our administration is going to be pushing for reform in this area. We think it's important that we get input from uh, the credit card issuers as we shape this reform. But there, and I'm going to leave it up to uh, my economic team to work with Congress to uh, evaluate uh, all the various proposals and to get some uh, very definitive language in place. There are going to be some core principles, though, that I want to adhere to, uh, and I mentioned these to all the credit uh, card issuers involved. Uh, first of all, I think that there has to be strong and reliable protections for consumers. Uh, protections that ban unfair rate increases and forbid abusive fees and penalties. Uh, the, the days of uh, any time, any reason, rate hikes uh, and late fee traps have to end. 